So you want to farm EXP efficiently in Diablo 4 inside Season 1, even though we got the EXP changes from that horrible, horrible patch. Well, in this video, I'm going to teach you and show you the, or at least my techniques and the ways I like to farm EXP efficiently, especially using Nightmare Dungeons inside of Diablo, okay? This is going to be similar to back in our Diablo 3 video when it comes to farming everything very, very efficiently inside the game where you're not doing anything else. This is our D4 equivalent of Town is Lava. So when it comes to farming, I'm in my group here and we're farming Surat's Lair, which is arguably one of the best uh, one of the best dungeons to farm for EXP in the current meta or the current game. So the idea here is all about efficiency. Okay, we are trying to be as efficient as possible when it comes to farming these dungeons, okay? We want to be as efficient as we possibly can. Now, well, what do I mean by efficiently? Okay, now this these, these tips are going to be applying to anybody who is doing this in a group especially or even a solo player. So as you can see, we're like leaving the party. We're going to regroup back up and we're going to go in and do this dungeon, okay? Nightmare Dungeons by far are the best way to gain the maximum amount of XP. Now, there is one caveat to that. The current EXP changes for Diablo 4, if you guys aren't aware, is instead of fighting monsters three levels higher than you to get the maximum XP, it is now 10 levels higher than you to get the maximum XP, okay? So that maximum XP is another 15%, and that XP uh, is very, very good. However, if you're not able to get that, that is okay. When it comes to speed and efficiency, we want to be fast. So I would suggest to you to not worry about that and only do th up to three levels higher than you just to speed through the dungeon. So as you guys can see, like I just did in town, I only spent about 10 seconds going to town to salvage that, to clear out my inventory. I am holding on to a lot of stuff here, which I typically wouldn't do because you would want to fill this up to get either money or get um, salvaging items. So just like we did back in D3, we're going to be farming the dungeon, which is the equivalent of doing speed rifts inside of Diablo 3. The whole idea here is to go through and complete whatever objectives uh, that you need to do to complete the dungeon the fastest. On top of that, the next tip is to only fight the larger mobs. Okay, small little drifting monsters that are just kind of hanging back that is only three to four monsters. You just ignore those completely and we want to move from mob to mob. Inside of Diablo 4, the uh, the density of the monster groups are going to be increased, so it's going to be a lot better for just smoothly, efficiently farming through these dungeons. However, until then, you want to move and just do nice size packs of mobs, only do the elites, and then only complete the objectives to get through the dungeon the fastest, and then if there is a boss, you're going to kill the boss. Now, how do we keep farming these, with, uh, these dungeons and resetting them so that way we don't have to worry about uh, going out, picking a new sigil, and then going through and having to travel to that one, even though we do have the instant travel. That still is going to take a lot of time, which is going to delay us even more when we're talking about EXP per hour. So if you are in a group, you can just pass the priority leader, like DT will pass it to me, and then I'm the leader, and then once we complete the dungeon and upgrade our glyphs, then I will leave first. So that's the way you can do it in groups. If you're in solo, I believe they brought back the reset button which is one that you can do, which is really, really, is really, really good. Now, another thing, since this just popped up, is a really good example. It's up to you whether you want efficiency or if you truly believe that the, the events inside of a Nightmare Dungeon are worth the XP for you, or if you just rather skip it to go through and defeat the dungeon and then just reset, okay? I would tell you, if you are doing Nightmare Dungeons for Glyph EXP, and you're only worried about leveling up your glyphs, then you would pass every single event in here. However, I am 92 and we are going to do maximum XP. So I'm going to complete this one because this is a very good event. As you can see, uh, to reset this dungeon, DT passed it to me. When this little prompt comes up, you're always going to decline it. And then once we defeat the dungeon, we are going to, I'll leave first. So that way I have the priority and I'll be able to reset the nightmare dungeon. Now, when you are farming this efficiently, uh, you're going to be able to do each Nightmare Dungeon roughly in like four to seven minutes is typically the goal, depending on the size of the dungeon. 
okay and this also depends on your group if you're doing duos trios or a full party okay now with that said another thing i want to mention is that items you see i only grabbed my legendary you typically don't even want to grab a legendary because the legendaries can go back to your inventory stash space and it can hold up to 10. so typically you want to skip picking up any legendaries that you may or may not need for the game okay just let those go back just try to keep track if you really feel like you're not able to keep track of all of the different um legendaries that you've been not picking up that's okay then go back to your stash just take the time to do that and uh, make sure that is always empty so you can just leave them on the ground picking up items is going to delay us we don't need to look at every single item we don't need to be picking up items that you possibly need etc you want to do this as fast as possible so i have to stress this again Okay, you don't want to be picking up items. You don't want to spend time looking at items. You don't even want to go back to town to look at items inside there and even throw them in your stash. You only want to use this for speed. We only care about EXP. That is it, which is why we're not going to be picking up items. As you can see down here on the map, I have a legendary down in this corner that one of my teammates uh, it dropped from a monster that they killed. I am not going to pick that up. I'm going to let that go to my stash. Okay, same thing with a lot of this stuff. Now, I could pick up one if I'm fast enough and really just go through and I could take a quick pick at it or peek at it if you are fast enough, okay? Otherwise, you don't care about it. And again, we're going to defeat the boss. And then we got the... I'm not going to leave the party because we got the world boss in two minutes. So we're going to defeat this boss, level our glyph up, and then go do the world boss. But this is exactly how you efficiently farm these dungeons. It'll roughly take you four to seven minutes, depending on your group or even if you're solo. If you're solo, it's even more prevalent to make sure that you are only doing elites and objectives to get through here. We got another Butcher's Cleaver, which is really, really cool. Okay, so now we got to go do the world boss. Where's the world boss? Uh, crap. Where's world boss? Two minutes on world boss. Boom. Thank God we're close. So guys, that is the most efficient way and fastest way to farm EXP inside of Diablo 4. There's a few dungeons that I do want to point out as we're traveling to the world boss. Surat's Lair is by far the best. Mercy's Reach is also very, very strong for XP. If you are a solo player, then I 100% uh, solo or duo player, I 100% recommend doing Mercy's Reach or doing Older's Cave. Older's Cave is going to be inside of World Tier or uh, Act 4. Mercy's Reach is in Act 1. And Surat's Lair is all also in Act 1 or Area, whatever you want to call it. I call it Acts because I'm just used to it. So those would be the ones that um, I would recommend to you. We're going to get up here to the World Boss and I'll showcase where these are on the um, map. But yes, Town is Lava. We do not want to spend any time in Town. Hello. So you have Older's Cave right here over in Act 3. Or Act 4, I mean. or Yeah, Act 4. And then we have our dungeon that we just did, Surat's Lair, which is, is technically in Act 2. And then in Act 1, you have uh, Mercy's Reach, which is right actually below Surat's Lair. All of these dungeons are the best for groups, solo duo, uh, and singles. So I would definitely recommend that. But yeah, guys, Town is Lava. Don't spend any time in town. Go farm your EXP, and you'll be able to grind upwards of like 50 million EXP per hour. So... If you guys have enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop a like, comment down below what do you guys think, and let me know down in the comments what caves or dungeons that you guys are farming for XP in the season. Let me know, because maybe there's some we've overlooked and we just haven't found yet. Let me know down in the comments. Subscribe if you guys are new, and join us over here on YouTube for our live streams. We stream five days a week, guys. We'd love to have you. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.